hello welcome back to my youtube channel and for the new subscribers my name is Liz Reynolds yeah na I'm back kutoka holiday na nilijibamba na kama ujui tunaongelea holiday gani previous videos kindly enda watch kuna ka holiday tulienda pale tukajibamba then we are back to business now hmm? sa tulikuwa holiday all of a sudden tukarudi kuja kuingia kwa mitandao tena unajua nikiwa holiday si shughulikangi na news ama nini <laughs> ati nakuja kupata kitu inaitwa lgbtq hmm? lgbtq ati ni normal economic ni normal in kenya it's normalized like tunafaa tuizoe then nika nikakuwa surprised na then niki nikifikiria ni nani amepitisha hiyo kitu then niko worried hii ni kitu sidhani kama hii kitu imewahi kuwa in our country kuwa legalized ama ni saa hii i don't think so then all of a sudden nikiwa hapo tunashangaa our president hmm? his excellency william samuel ruto you never disappoint aki ulisimama na ukasema hata kama kumepitishwa hivi na hivi wewe utasimama na ukweli utasimama na biblia then you will not allow this together with your deputy then vile uliongea nilisikia nilis, nilis, relief like angalau eh, our leadership in our country wanaweza simama na ukweli na tufuate biblia vile ina, 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 inasema so hapo mr president hapo uliweza hmm? sasa ile kitu imebaki ni pale kwa gas naona ile vile <laughs> Hapo gas vile ulisema ulisema ni 300 by the way tunaingojea hiyo ya 300 ni mwezi wa sita ama ni wa tano hata kama uchumi ni mbaya saa hii yani unajua saa zingine kuna vitu saa zingine unaekanga pale kando then unakuja unasimama hapa na ukweli hmm? na unasema hizo zingine zitajialign tu na i'm sure you are working on our economy hmm? i'm sure you are working on it and you will not disappoint lakini hapo kwa gas si umeshataja tunangojea kindly tunangojea <laughs> so today let's discuss on what does the bible say about lgbtq unajua saa zingine tunaweza kuwa tunafanya vitu na hatuelewi ama hatuna knowledge hii kitu ama maybe hata ujui hii kitu kama ni spiritual hmm? in the bad way so wacha tu discuss mambo ya lgbtq let's do this So welcome back. So what is LGBTQ? Unajua hizi vitu tunazitaja tu na maybe hata kuna mtu hiyo LGBTQ ananiuliza ni gani na ilisemwa lini. Kunaweza kuwa mtu angali yangi news hmm? na hata ajui nini tunaongelelea. So wacha tumwambie what is LGBTQ. So LGBTQ ni abbreviation then the full meaning of LGBTQ ni lesbian gay bisexual transgender questioning community si hapo sasa mwenyako anajua what is lgbtq so ukijaza hiyo lgbtq itaingia lesbian gay bisexual transgender questioning community okay yeah so hii kwa mwenye aja, bado hajajua ni nini ni ile mambo ya ati kuoana watu wa jinsi ya moja mwanaume kwa mwanaume mwanamke kwa mwanamke yani hizo vitu imagine ati ndio tunaambiwa tunafaa kuchukulia kawaida hmm? so vile mimi ilikuwa concern kwangu kwa sababu ukiingia in our society today unajua hizi vitu nilikuwa nazisikia zikitajwa tuko umbali then nadhani nikituita kuja kukuwa this serious vile imekuja kuwa hii mwaka mimi kutoka nianze kusikia hizi vitu nilianza kuzisikia na mambo na shule. Okay, mi mali nilisomea maybe zilikuwa zinafanyika mi sijai sijai kuwa witness. Lakini nasikia sana sana zinafanyika pale. Naona watoto wako high school hmm? hata ziko hadi universities I think. Lakini sana sana hii kitu inaanza pale high school. 
atutasema primary sana primary ni watoto tu watoto wana, especially wengine wana, wanaenda shule wanarudi lakini boarding schools sana sana boarding schools e, za boys za girls hizi vitu zinafanyika sana sana kule so unapata mtoto ametoka kwako tu vizuri aki wazazi tuombe ametoka kwako ameenda shule ameenda form 1 maybe very innocent then anaenda kupata the seniors those are the form 4s form 3s wa, kumbe wao walishaishiitiwa kwa hii kitu and you, the reason why anatumia the word initiation unajua this is demonic kwa mwenye ajaelewa hii ni nini hii si kitu ya kawaida ati tunaweza sema it's, it's an act ati ya, ya kawaida it's demonic kitu inaendelea na ukiangalia ndio unasikia watu wana, wameanza ku, umeanza kuona hata huku kwa mitandao wakisema unapata hata watu wa Christians wameingia kwa hizi vitu watu wanajiita Christians wameingia kwa hizi vitu na huyo huyu ni yule mtu on Sunday utamuona pale kwa praise team hmm? anaimbanga huko mbele mwenyewe ni, ni a gospel artist unashindwa mbona huyu mtu amekaa tu kwa gospel hajai pata bibi hajai pata bwana hmm? unashindwa mbona hapendangi kuolewa mbona hapendangi kuokuoa kumbe yeye mwenyewe asha kuwa initiated and you know vile nimefanya research nimeona hizi vitu ni vitu zina ni vitu zinafanyika wa, wa, watu wanakuwa initiated ni, it's demonic wanakuwa initiated wakuje wa initiate wengine and the more wanaendelea ku initiate watu kumbe ndio wana benefit from the devil hmm? kuna vile wana benefit hmm? i wish tukapata mtu mmoja i wish na kama utawahi watch hapa then you want maybe to share a story maybe ushaikuwa kwa kitu kama hiyo unajua saa zingine si vibaya ukiwa ume, umejua ubaya wa hii kitu na ukaacha mungu mungu wetu ni mzuri sana yeye usamee na una unakuwa a lesson kwa mtu mwingine but kama utawahi watch hapa you can reach me i would like ukuje utuelezee cause si ati hata mimi niko na deep information cause i've never been to this lakini tukifanya research hata najua wewe ukiwa kwa nyumba yako umesikia hizi stories unasikia ati hata zimeingia hadi kwa pastors hmm? unadhani huyu ni pastor mkubwa mwenye anajulikana sijui nini eh? <laughs> na wewe unaenda tu unaenda tu huko kwa hiyo kanisa yake unaenda huko kwa mwimbaji fulani unasikia anga huyu anaimba mbingu inafunguka kumbe hmm? amesha ingia kwa hizi vitu then unaona ameendelea do you know the, the devil vile nowadays ana win watu ni mambo tuna pesa they are being initiated kule then kuna vile wana benefit unaanza kuona mtu ameanza ku ameanza ku grow all of a sudden ameanza unadhani ni Mungu amembariki kumbe amejiweka kwa initiation zingine zenye anaenda anaingiza watu kwa ushetani then ana benefit from the other side the, the, the covenants zenye alifanya kwa hiyo ushetani so nimekuja huku leo niwaambie LGBTQ it's demonic hmm? tuache mambo na the act achana na the act but the whole thing is demonic ndio nimekuambia utaona mtu vizuri tu anakaa tu anafika 35 years he fulani hajai pata bwana hajai pata bibi na hako kwa kanisa amekuwa akiomba yani unaonga anainua mikono ana kneel down unaona huyu ndiye ali ataenda mbinguni wa kwanza na kumbe ashaku initiated kwa hii kitu ye yeah, number one, labda covenant yenye alifanya usiwaioa cause na wao unajua watu wa, wa this action hizi ma, ma, ma action za gayism na lesbianism you can't marry hmm? unless it's like conditions you can't marry unless sasa wewe huyo mwanaume wako unaonanga yeye ndiye mwanamke ama unless wewe huyo mwanamke wako unawasemanga ndiye 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 bibi hmm? so hii kitu kindly tuombe our students there are very innocent souls out there wenye wanaandago hii kitu si wao kutaka but wamekuwa tu initiated kwa sababu wana the power ya kusema no you can imagine a form 1 Hmm? akikuwa bullied na a form 4 
unajua obvious na hataki kukaa akiwa na stress kwa hiyo shule but ana, anavumilia tu anangangana anaingia kwa hii kitu then in the next four years ni yeye atakuwa na initiate wengine cause it ikisha muingia imemuingia imemuingia hmm? akituombe and if you are here and you are a pastor hmm? the so called pastors i respect the genuine pastors but the so called pastors na umeingia kwa hii kitu na kanisa yako una advocate watu kufanya vitu kama hizi mungu tu akufungue macho maybe hata wewe eh? kitu imeku blind okay wacha nisikujaji nisi lakini maybe hata wewe uoni yani mungu siku moja tu akufungue macho na ufungue wale wengine wenye maybe umeingiza kwa hiyo direction hmm? wana waimbaji waimbaji waache kuharibia waimbaji wazuri jina kindly kama umeshindwa na kukaa huku kwa Yesu vizuri streets ziko open wacha tujuange wewe ni wa koinange unaona wacha tu vizuri tujuange wewe ni wa direction fulani wacha kujificha huku kwa Mungu tuache kuharibu madhabahu ya Mungu kindly hmm? yani toka tu na ushetani wako eh, enda ufanye hizo maushetani then rudi kwa Mungu ukisikia umechoka badala ya kujificha kwa Mungu na watu pale nje tu wanakuona zile behavior si unafanya and you know hakuna kitu unaweza fanya kwa hii dunia ikose kujulikana hmm? so this lgbtq thing i don't want to judge the people maybe wenye already wako kwa hii kitu kuna mwenye, mwenye innocently alinishiitiwa bila kujua mwingine alinishiitiwa kwa kujua lakini alilazimishwa na ukapata the, the only choice anaweza make ni wacha tu niingie ni save my unajua wengine wana nasikia wengine wanakuja na wanakuja na force like usipoitikia hii nitakuua usipofanya kwa sababu na yeye yule mtu anakuambia atakuua kuna kitu ameambiwa make sure umetafuta watu kama kumi eh ndio tukupandishe cheo that is what is happening hmm? watu si wajinga huku nje tunajua chenye kinaendelea hmm? cause we pray huwa tunaomba na tunajua what is happening aya eh uh-huh. so watu wa wacha niwapeka story nimesikia tu before nikuje kuongea hapa nimesikia story nyingine mahali ilikuwa inapeanwa mtu wa motorbike akielezea vile wananyanyaswa yani hii kitu imekuwa serious watu wa motorbike si unajua innocently wanafanya kazi na hata wanatusaidia sana maybe umechelewa mahali umepata tu kwa stage ni mtu wa motorbike mtu ndiye anaweza kusaidia na unajua wanakaanga stage wanaka hadi masaa ile mbaya saa nane, saa saba, wakingoja tu customer. So mmoja kijana mdogo tu alikuwa anaelezea vile siku moja ame amepata amepata e, mteja wake usiku saa nane, na akamwambia nifikishe kwangu. Vizuri kwa kijana ni kadogo kana jitaftia riziki. Akambeba akamwambia kwangu ni mahali fulani akampeleka. So wakifika pale chini kidogo ndio anaanza kusikia huyu mtu amembeba anaanza kumshika west na ni mwanaume mwenzake akasimama akamuuliza kwani kuna shida akamwambia hapana kuna shida twende 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 yeye yeah, akaendelea lakini akaanza kuuliza mbona ana bii vivo so vile walienda kufika kwa gate aka huyu kijana akaanza kumwambia e, pesa ni ngapi akamwambia ni mia moja vile alimwambia ni mia moja akamwambia sikulipi cash nataka kukulipa na mpesa so akampea which of which is normal akampea namba ya simu kumpea namba ya simu akamtumia 1500 badala ya 100 na akaanza kumwambia e, na wewe ni mrembo situingie tu kwa nyumba sijui nini so huyu kijana akaanza kushtuka akishangaa aki, aki mwanaume mwenzake anaezaje mwambia <laughs> yeye ni mrembo sijui anampenda nini nini hmm? So akaanza kuinsist waingie aingie na yeye kwake. Akaanza ku, kuinsist akimwambia kindly itikia tuingie pale kwangu hata nitakununulia apartment. Na ndio nimekwambia ah watu ni, ni demonic. Eh? Yaani ni kitu im, im, inatumiwa na na shetani. Unasikia huyu anamwa anamwahidi apartment. Na apartment si shilingi mbili. Meaning that huyu mtu akona pesa. Na do you know the easy pesa wanatoa wapi? wanatoa huko kwenye wametoa hii ya gano this covenant ndio anataka ku kuzitransfer kwa huyu atamuinitiate azitransfer kwake na unajua ukianza kusikia yeye nitakununulia apartment nitafanya nini 
unajua sasa una, una uwezo unafanya kazi ya motorbike utawezwa na huyu mtu uone pe, afadhali pe afadhali pesa na uingie kwa hiyo hmm? so hizi ni vitu zinaendelea huyu huyu kijana wa motorbike alikuwa anaelezea vile wa, watu wa motorbike wana wanaandago shida fla, kama hizi wanapitia yani ma, wanapitia mambo mengi huku kwa barabara au watu wako namba 1 tusiseme ya wako wako na, ni vile tu hawataki kujitokeza ni, na, lakini countries zingine wamejitokeza hadi wanataka kuongea na, na their president huko eh niliona kuna kuna country fulani sijui gari niliona mmoja amesimama anasema anasema tunaomba ruhusa tuone tuongee na wao president sijui ni country gani ukiingia kwa youtube utazipata huko so hizi ni vitu ziko and that's why nilikuwa nataka leo tujue Biblia inasema aje kuhusu hizi vitu. Hmm? Biblia inasema aje kuhusu LGBTQ. Hmm? Ati watu wanaenda wanaoana. Harusi, nimeona maharusi zinafanywa na watu. Then swali yangu ni pale, hao watu wanaunganishwa na mapasta wa gani? Hmm? Which kind of pastors wenye wanaunganisha watu kama hao? Ama ni hao pastors wenye tumesema wako ndani ya hii kitu pia. Hapo hapo ndio sijaelewa. But staki kujaji watu the gays gays na ma lesbians kuna mtu ako somewhere maybe alikuwa anangojea this message aelewe hii kitu ni mbaya namna gani labda aje isoma biblia akajua hii kitu ni mbaya yeye yeah, anaifanya tu kwa kwa raha zake tu but wacha tuone biblia so tukiingia kwa bible genesis 19 ukiingia genesis 19 Mnakumbuka kila mtu mwenye ashe ipitia maybe Sunday school ama church ameshe sikia hii story ya Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah ndio hizi acts the disgusting acts zilikuwa zinafanyika. Hmm? Na Mungu alikasirika sana kwa sababu ya this city. Then ukisoma Biblia eh, Genesis 19 Inasema, when the two angels came to Sodom that evening. Okay, unajua sasa ndi uwelewe, unafaa kuanza pale 18. Pale eh, eh, chapter 18, utaona bile Abraham aliplead na mungu. Kwa sababu mungu alitaka kuambia Abraham, bile nimekasirishwa na hii, this city, na nataka kuimaliza. Tumerudi kidogo hapo 18. Then Abraham akajaribu ku plead na mungu. Angalau, watu waki, ukipata kwa hiyo city, eh, watu 50 ni innocent. Bado utaangamiza hii our city. Mungu akamurumia haka hapo, akamuambia. Kwa sababu ya hao 50, sita angamiza the whole city. Nita was spare. I'll spare. Abraham akaendelea kuplidu. Unaona ile tu ruma ya binadamu. Ukisoma 18 verse 16, kuteremuka hivi adi, adi 33. Utaona vile Abraham alija, aliona hii hii inji yetu itaharibiwa kabisa then akaanza ku na Mungu kwa sababu naye Mungu alipenda sana Abraham story ya Abraham najua kila mtu mwenye anasomanga Biblia anaijua so Abraham alijaribu ku aliona hii city itamalizwa na akaanza ku, kusema na Mungu uki, na bado na ukipata wako 45 unajua nadhani naongea vitu zangu na hizo vitu Abraham aliongea na Mungu ukipata watu 45 wako innocent bado uta utaharibu uta punish kila mtu Mungu akamwambia akamwambia ao nita nita spare sitaharibu kila mtu Abraham akaendelea ku plead na Mungu hadi akafika watu 10 hmm? Abraham said please don't be angry Lord and I will speak just once more what if only 10 are found yani ameteremka kutoka 50 akiuliza Mungu na 20 na 30 Eh? Adi tumefikisha na kumi Akawambia eh, Mungu Akawambia bado hao kumi ni itaspea Iyo country Sababu ya hao the innocent And you know in our society today Kuna wenye wako innocent Na atutaki mungu amue kupanish Our country Although this is worldwide Atutaki mungu wakuja kupanish Kwa sababu ya watu wachache sana Wenye wanafanya hii act yenye inakasirishanga Mungu sana kwa, za, kwa sababu Sodom na Ngomora walikuja kuharibiwa sababu ya hii dhambi tunaongelea leo. Hii ndio walikuwa nafanya na Mungu akakasirika kabisa. So, 
vile Mungu aliongea na yeye akaona Abraham ako na anaonea watu huruma sana yeye akaondoka after kufika ten akaondoka so vile akaondoka the following tunaona ni verse ni chapter 19 now A, Mungu akatuma two angels to Lot eh? Lot kila mtu anajua Lot Lot na bibi yake na daughters if you know that story so when the two angels came to Sodom on, in, on that evening Lot was sitting at the city gate as soon as we we saw them he got up and went to meet them he bowed down before them and said sirs i am here to serve you please come to my house so apa lot ali, alikuja aka notice hawa ni these are angels wametumwa but walikuja in form of two men but lot alijua the angels na alikuwa anajua hii inji yao vile mungu afurahishwe nayo sababu ya hizi tabia tunaongelea za lgbtq Hmm? So Lot aliongea nao watu akawaambia si mlale kwangu leo wakakataa waka wakasema tunataka kulala in the city square From there akajaribu aka, aka kuaje yani si mlale kwangu so wakaitikia wakaingia kwa nyumba yake Then akawatayarishia chakula mzuri huyo ni Lot akawatayarishia chakula mzuri na akawapea mahali pa kulala Then verse 4 Before the guests went to bed The men of Sodom surrounded the house. Hmm? Wanaume wa. Na unajua they are two men wenye wamekuja kwa Lot. Unaona? Walikuwa wanaume. Then before waende wakalale after kupikiwa na Lot the uh, the men of Sodom. Sasa wanaume wa hiyo Sodom. Hmm? They surrounded the house. Wakakuja ku surround hiyo nyumba ya Lot. Wakiambia Lot They called out to Lot and asked, "Where are the men who came to stay with you tonight? Bring them out to us." The men of Sodom wanted to have sex with them. Nona, hii kitu msione imeanza leo. Eh? Hii kitu ilianza kitambo time ya Sodom. Ndio unasikianga Mungu alikuja kumaliza hiyo na na moto. Nona, angels wamekuja in form of men. Lot amewakaribisha kwake amewapikia na time ya kwenda kulala kwa sababu hii ni kitu na nimewaambia mtu akishaingia geizim na lesbianism ni kama anakuanga akili yake inafikiria tu hiyo unaona so washa, washa notice kuna watu wapya wamekuja inawa inawa society na wameingia kwa lot na ni wanaume and we are men and we are gays hmm? wacha twende kwa lot tukajue ni nini hao wanaume wako wapi tu tu tuanze kulala na wao Nona hii gezi mlianza kitambo msidhani ni sahi. Then Lot al alijaribu kuwazuia cause Lot kwa mind yake alijua hawa ni angels. Hadi Lot you can imagine alijaribu ku spare the angels akawaambia kindly msifanyie hawa ni wageni wangu na and I have to protect them. Imagine Lot aliofa wasichana wake. Hmm? Akawaambia tafadhali ni kama kuna kitu mnataka kufanya niko na wasichana hapa wawili. Wenye hata hawajui mwanaume wache ni wape na mspe hao wageni wangu cuz lot alijua hawa ni watu wametumwa na Mungu so hao watu hawa kuwa na haja na wasichana walikuwa na haja na hao wanaume waliingia kwa nyumba ya lot wakaanza kutetesha wakaanza kutetesha lot wakimwambia ni nini unatuambia kwanza we ni foreigner lot walikuwa anasema we ni foreigner huko kwa nini ni we ni we nini utuambie chenye tunafaa kufanya so in history ya eh, Sodom and Gomorrah inatuonyesha vile this LGBTQ ilianza kitambo so hapo lot yeye ame <coughs> ameleta angels na already watu the, the other gays wameanza kuona hao ni wanaume wa wana, ni wanaume wanafaa kuwa have sex na wao kwa sababu hiyo ndio kazi yao na ndio Mungu ndio ujue eh, Biblia ya advocate kitu kama hiyo pale baadaye Mungu alikuja ku kuharibu hiyo inji na moto. Yaani alikasirika hadi akaharibu kila kitu. Alispare only Lot wife yake na the two daughters. Alitumana wa, wa, wa escape. Then akaharibu sababu alikasirishwa sana na hiyo hiyo dhambi. Na ndio naomba leo 
either be a LGBTQ eh? kindly tusitake Mungu akuje kutupanish fidel kuja kupanish Sodom and Gomorrah kwa sababu hii ni na nataka very soon tutakuja kuongelelea nataka tukuje kuongelelea kuna the zile vitu forbidden hmm? na biblia kuhusu sexual the forbidden sexual relations tutakuja kuziongelelea very soon so ukienda leviticus mm, leviticus 18:22 no man is to have sexual relations with another man god hates that no man or woman is to have sexual relations with an animal that perv that perversion makes you ritually unclean i think you, that is very clear na imesema hakuna mwanaume anafaa ku, kuwa na sexual relations na mwanaume mwingine hiyo ni biblia imesema hiyo na hakuna mwanamke anafaa ku, yani tuna tumekatazwa hadi wa, wanyama unasikianga cases pia za wanyama hmm? zimetajwa hapa kwa biblia tunaambiwa it's an abomination actually so hii kitu si kitu ya ku encourage kama ilifanya the whole city ya Sodom na Gomora imadizwa na Mungu na moto eh? Biblia Leviticus imetuambia hakuna wanaume ama mwanamke ako allowed hmm? kufanya vitu kama hizi watu wa jinsi ya moja Biblia imekataa na hivyo ndio tunafaa kuelewa so ndio Biblia ikakuja ikasema hmm? <coughs> nevertheless to avoid fornication let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband that is 1 Corinthians 7:2 Hakuna mali tumeambiwa mwanaume aoe mwanaume mwingine Tumeambiwa husband and wife husband and wife So wacha ku wacha kufanya mwanaume akue wife na mwanaume ni mwanaume hmm? How now Aya <coughs> Eh, eh, first Corinthians 6 9 to 10 now you inasema do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God do not be deceived then this wicked neither the sexual immoral nor idol idolatries adulteries nor male prostitutes nor homosexuals ah, what, eh, tunambiwa, they'll never inherit the kingdom of God so I think those are enough verses za kujua. Number 1, tumejifunza pale kwa tumejifunza pale kwa the example ya Sodom na Gomora walimalizwa. Yaani Mungu alikasirika kwa sababu ya hii kitu tuna entertain leo. Hmm? Na ndio nawaambia nikaa dunia inaenda kuisha. Tukicheza hali tunaelekea saa hii kwa sababu hii kitu inakasirishanga Mungu. Hmm? Na ndio tuna entertain lakini tafadhalini kama you are one of these people here and you are watching this na maybe ya huku unajua ni dhambi ama unaona tu ni kitu ya kawaida you are having fun eh? leo umejua and you will never inherit the kingdom of god the bible is very clear so tafadhalini tusaidiane hata pale shuleni naomba hata tu watoto wakifunga shule wakuje wasome tu waangalie hii video hmm? Hizi vitu tuache ku entertain kwa sababu zinaanza kwa watoto wakiwa wadogo na unashangaa mtu akikuja kufika dhati ni mtu huwezi sasa control. Hmm? But this thing inaweza kuwa controlled pale. Watoto waki grow wa biwe uh, sijui hata sijui na wakanti tutume watu wa, waeleze watu madhara ya hii kitu ni mbaya. Hmm? Pale shuleni. Na sasa kama wewe ni wale mapasta mna initiate hizi vitu. Hmm? Mungu akusaidie uchange tu. So Hiyo tu ndio nilikuwa nayo kwa leo. Maybe kama imekusaidia kindly share. Na kama umeshaikuwa kwa hii kitu na maybe uka change, uka transform. Ni wewe ni wewe tunataka hapa kwa isho. Kindly nifikie ukuje uelezee watu madhara na maybe u, you can go deeper utueleze kule mna initiate waje na ndio mfanye nini. Unaona? Kwa sababu hizi hii kitu ni kitu tuna, tuna, tunataka mtu ame amekuwa kwa hii kitu ndio atueleze nini kuna kitu something behind this demonic something demonic behind lgbtq si act tu ya kawaida na mimi najua chenye naongelea this the, hii kitu si act ya kawaida 
So kama umeshaikuwa kwa hii kitu na maybe uga transform ama maybe unaelewa the reason why people are doing this kuja tu utuongeleshe na tutashukuru sana. Eh ile ingine niliwaambia kuna show na jaribu kutengeneza unajua inahitaji fedha si tulisema mtu tuombeane mniombe nataka e, nitengeneze mahali tunaweza ita watu kama hawa sasa wenye nataka wakuja watueleze hizi story na maybe vile waliinitiwa vitu kama hizo yani and, and many more so kindly mniombe tuta have a show ya one on one then tutabarikiwa pamoja unajua ukishare story yako inakaanga sasa si mimi vile na waongeleshe hivi nikiwa sijakuwa kwa hii kitu kuna impact ya kitu ukiwa we mwenye umeifanya na uka transform hmm? kuliko ya mtu tu anaongea na ile knowledge tu anajua unaona so hiyo time ikifika tutashukuru sana na najua Mungu atatenda tutakuwa na hiyo show then eh, subscribers mnaongezeka kila siku na appreciate sana nyinyi ni watu wa nguvu sana ningekuwa naweza naweza wawekea kapati nyi wote umekuwa watu wazuri so kama labda nimekuhusifia hapa na uja subscribe hmm? kindly confirm kama umesubscribe eh, then like share comment click on the notification bell and see you on the next one bye bye